A common assessment area is that of security and also to work as a bodyguard or security staff member. And we're just going to have a look at a range of different uh, assessment methods that you could select uh, for your CARVA qualification. So in, in terms of workplace, okay, so you could um, have an observation, okay, of two security staff members uh, demonstrating how to operate security cameras or internal systems, okay. So they could be demonstrating how to use perhaps scan Scanners, okay, perhaps doing uh, a bag search as well. So they are perhaps going to be looking at perhaps using cameras, okay, and just demonstrating their skills and competence, okay. So for workplace one and workplace two, you could um, just look at how security staff members operate uh, security cameras and those systems. So are they competent with demonstrating um, those uh, equipment types within their working role? Furthermore, for, for workplace three and workplace four, we could have once again an observation and it could be a simple security uh, check such as a, a bag search by example. So you could perhaps see um, perhaps a real life uh, scenario, an example where a security staff member is interacting uh, with a customer and just demonstrating perhaps a bag search or a body search, okay, and just seeing them in their live working role. When it comes to these vocational or training based assessments, you could uh, formulate a role play or a simulation. Though, so this could be perhaps inspecting uh, a building, so you could have a mock-up assessment within an office or training room, okay, and just asking for uh, the security staff member to conduct a uh, search. So just seeing how they uh, operate perhaps in a real life scenario, but of course it's going to be perhaps within a training base uh, setting. Perhaps you can put uh, perhaps a, an object, a suspicious object uh, within the room, okay, uh, and just see how they would respond and just think about the procedures that they will go through if they do see uh, perhaps a suspicious uh, package uh, within the working world, within their working role, by example. Furthermore, you could also have uh, perhaps a skills test or a multiple choice knowledge test on health and safety or normal operating procedures as well. OK, so you could put together perhaps a knowledge based test or quiz on security uh, staff uh, duties, OK, procedures and also scenarios. So this could be perhaps multiple choice uh, questions. Uh, it could be uh, written answers as well. And that way you're checking the knowledge of your two security staff members. OK, so once again, each security staff member will complete one written test here. So do have a look at these uh, different assessment ideas, okay, and to think about what type of standards or criteria that you are going to include.